So today we're going on a very special hike with a ton of amazing history, starting with this building. Someone tagged this in 1939. Here's the other part of the building. This was about a 10 hour round trip from Las Vegas for me. Yeah, there's one of the old vehicles already. Yeah, this place is perfect. Are you kidding me? Look at this, guys. This is quite literally the most majestic thing I've ever seen in my life. This door is just flopping around in the wind on this thing. Absolutely unreal. Now look at that. The engine and transmission is still in the car. Here's the original fuel tank. inline six cylinder there's the electric starter right there what do you guys think of that this one has uh, looks like steel wheels on it there's our bumper hanging down yeah here you can clearly see that it was a pickup truck So we are headed back down to our main trail here. I see a big steel drum or something way down there. This landscape is pretty cool, huh? This place looks like it hasn't seen rain in 50 years, but I know it has. Oh dude, that's a really old windmill. It almost looks like a postcard. Okay, so this looks like it was a little settlement area. I can see some stuff off in the distance as well. Wow, guys. Let's get over here and get a look at this windmill from the ground. Look at that. There's a little ladder on it. I wonder if anyone's tried to climb that recently. There's some old junk. This is the remains of some sort of structure. Here's a little uh, well pump, it looks like, at the bottom of the windmill. Here's some really old clay. This pile is nice and untouched. Makes you wonder how much is out there that's kind of unmarked. So here's a big steel drum. Maybe this was a water reservoir. Oh, then look at that. This was a trailer of some sort. Isn't that cool? Assume we just continue this way. Sure would be a hell of a place to get lost, huh? <laughs> I thought of that as soon as I got out of the car because I don't have any cell service or I didn't bring a map either. I, I completely spaced it. I have my satellite communicator, but you know, that's in case of an emergency or something. Thank you to Brian. He's an individual that gave me the location to this place and the area we filmed in the last video. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I think this is like a five mile round trip hike with the turnoffs and stuff like that. I forgot my camel back, so I just have a gallon of water inside my backpack and I'm very thirsty, but I don't want to stop. Yeah, I guess there's a few more cars to see. That was my main interest. I really like old cars a lot. Absolutely wild out here. 
Oh, I see a building. I think it's the mill. Imagine coming way out here to dig a hole in the ground a hundred years ago. There's a old piece of tin roofing right there. There's the mill. How exciting. Looks like we can walk up right here, so that's what we'll do. There's something. See how cool is that? People put the little relics and stuff that they find and nobody messes with them. Oh, wow. There's a car in here. This is insane. What do you guys think of that? There's a spare tire holder. Wow, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the front wheel is still on it with the metal spokes. There's one of the brake cables. The transmission's still in it. Still has wood framing inside the door. Look how well preserved. There's the wooden seats. Still has the paint on the frame. So I wonder why there's more doors for it. Because it looks like a pickup truck. Maybe they're spare doors? I don't know. Probably still has some old nasty fuel in it. It's all sealed up. That was like the most American thing I've ever seen. Oh, dude, there's another car over there. Equally as cool. Yeah, see, no trespassing. The National Park Service has this blocked off, which is good because places like this just don't last. I'm trying to think, mill or car? Probably mill, and then we'll get down to the car. What a place to mine, huh? Let's go back over this way first and then we'll get to that car. Guys, these rocks are massive here. Here's a little portal. Let's see. Oh, nothing over here. There's some old wood pieces. What a breathtaking place. There's nothing else over here. I really want to see this mine up a little closer than the other car. So here's the side of it. You can see a little window right here. So here's the front. Looks like an old conveyor system right there. And then there's some like cylinder pumps and stuff up there. Crankshaft. A lot of heavy machinery in there. Let me know if I'm in your way. Oh, you're good. I'm gonna say the view's better up here. That's it. I might come up there and check it out. Yeah, you should definitely do that. So we're gonna get to the top of this mountain with this other dude. He says we got a pretty cool view. And then we'll see what it looks like from up there. Don't wanna fall on this cactus. That'll probably kill me. What's that? That's the fun one. <laughs> I'm here with Wesley. Say what up, Wesley. What's up? Wesley uh, convinced us to climb up this mountain and get the view. Yeah, he said it was worth it. 
He wasn't lying. Look at that. There's our mill. There's our last car we're gonna look at right down there. I was gonna try to make it up that one, but. Up there? Yeah. Yeah, you're tripping on that. <laughs> That's big right there. Yeah. <laughs> I was just saying, I wonder how much is actually like undiscovered out here, you know? That's a very good question. Trying not to lose my footing here. Here's the other car. I don't know if it's the last one. Might be. What a beautiful piece of history for the day. These cars all have um, metal spoke wheels on them. Wow, uh, wasn't that a fancy V8? I'm not amazing with these old motors. Okay, so that is exhaust. Wow, dude, how crazy is this? So these are the actual exhaust manifolds on this car, which are typically on the sides of a V motor. Some, one of you guys will be able to identify that, I already know. And then we have this crazy internal chain system of some sort. Maybe the starter up front. And then it might have had a hand crank, I doubt it. Maybe that was for a fan. But this car is pretty rad. I mean, that's cool. And the front axle and uh, sway bar linkage and stuff is still here. Yeah, this was a, like a heavy duty pickup truck here, guys. Got some cool stuff written on there. Vacuum fuel fed system, whatever that means. So I've always been a mechanic by trade, but nobody's ever rolled into the shop with anything like this, you know? And here's the interior. Big old transmission in it. Two shifters here. See, I don't even want to run my mouth because I don't know what I'm talking about. There's a big pipe here. A tube, whatever you would call it. Pretty neat. I wonder what this is. I'm guessing a well. Oh yeah, look. Oh, so there's a water line that goes up to the mill. And then here's a pump. This was a hit and miss motor. That's the coolant reservoir actually that keeps it cool up there. The heat from the motor creates the cycling of the coolant but here's a little piston and crankshaft right here and this stuff is all obviously seized up it's been sitting in the elements for 100 years fairbanks morris made in usa wow patents are from 1917 three horsepower but yeah in this video right here you guys can see a couple of these running this gentleman Johnny Cloud taught me about them, and he started a couple of them up. Here's an old, is that an AC Delco spark plug? It's strange, there's like a nylon belt wrapped around that. So this thing was just sitting here putting, spinning the belt, spinning the pump, pumping up water back in the day. This thing's probably a thousand feet deep. I don't know much about wells. Here's our creepy windmill again with a nice sunset and a storm. Look at that. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys who have subscribed to the channel. And thank you to those of you that watch the channel. I learned so much from the comments you guys leave. I learn a ton. Every time I come out and check something out, I know so much more about what I'm looking at because of the comments. It's hard to like, Google things nowadays. I don't know. You just get a bunch of ads now and stuff, but the comments, they're so, they're, they're pure. People that watch stuff like this know about stuff like this, and then they share this invaluable information. So 
please, please keep it coming. I know I don't respond to every single one, but I do read them all. They're very helpful. So thank you. Oh, it's getting windy. Yeah, we're gonna get, I'm gonna get rained on. I gotta pick up the pace. It's getting uh, gray real quick, but we'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.